So in this video, I'm going to show you a few items that you might be able to pick up some easy engineering skills and furnishing skills with as well. I have shown you the gunpowder for engineering, which still seems to be one of the best ways to do it. However, there is actually, and I'm not sure if this is a bug, this might end up being fixed along the line. But if you go into the forge for engineering, there is a thing called a steel spear. Well, that's kind of nice and all right, but... Um, Look at the materials that you need for this. We have lumber, which obviously is pretty easy to come by. It is just go out, chop some trees, have some mature wood, have some uh, green wood, and then put it together. Simple, but it, this is called a steel spear. The thing that I actually want to draw the attention to is how one steel bar is three iron ingots. But I do believe that there might be an issue with this because uh, you can cut that price into a third. Because if you go here, you can actually use iron ingot to craft the same spear. You'll still be getting 540 engineering for it, but you just put the uh, total cost of the metal down to a third, simply because you only need five iron bars. However, don't get too excited. If you do salvage it, it still stays to be just you get a little bit of lumber back so it's not a way that you can go out and make an additional amount of steel which could have been pretty sick i'm not gonna lie but also kind of kind of very very cheap and already this seems to be a little bit on the uh, side of hmm maybe not maybe <laughs> i don't know but it is in the game currently and i figured i might as well show it to you guys it definitely does make the whole process of making engineering a little bit easier because you are gaining engineering score by making these spears would have been nice if it counted towards weapon um, smithing but it is engineering and just to show you whenever you are going to be uh, salvaging them they are going to return one to four lumber and a little bit of repair parts of course i am currently capped at that so uh, i'm not going to get anything out of that and the other item that i want to give you a little bit of an idea what you can use to level up your furnishing skill and i have been doing because i find it to be pretty simple first of all because most of the stuff that you make in uh, furnishing requires either um, iron or steel or something like that but there is an item and I'm actually not 100% sure if this is a drop that I've gotten and then salvaged into, but this. The one thing that can be a little tricky right now is the changes with uh, the uh, supply cases dropping less, so crossweave is bound to go up a little bit, I imagine. If you have the opportunity and it hasn't gone up too far yet, maybe try to stock up a little bit on that. But simply, this rug basically just requires you to go out and farm fibers. And... Uh, it's pretty easy way to get 150 furnishing. Just you're not really investing that much. Fiber is pretty cheap and you'll be able to make quite a few of these by just running a simple trip down in the Winford area. I've done it a few times and it uh, basically just took my furnishing skill all the way up so I could start making the trophies and I could get those placed in my house. I know it's only a 150 increase to your furnishing as it is, but in comparison to what the investment is into any of the other um, items, I feel like it is pretty cheap to do simply because I know iron um, usually gets a little pricey and uh, it's a lot harder to farm that than it seems to be to farm the linen which you need. And uh, just the one thing that I keep doing whenever I do it is that I mess it up by simply converting all of my fibers into linen, which obviously you shouldn't do because you need that to um, make these rocks. I'm just quickly going to salvage them and then we're going to get a lot of it back and we get to do the entire thing again. Because as long as you have the fiber, you are good to go. Right here, you're getting a lot of them back, so you will be able to produce quite a few new ones. And then, um, easy way to get yourself a little bit of furnishing, working towards getting those trophies, or maybe even getting those chests to your house. If you have any other good items like this, which is a little out of the ordinary, please drop them in the comments down below, and uh, maybe I'll cover them in the next video. Thank you so very much for watching.